welcome back to another Surge Man X video. In today's video, I'm talking about my favorite console of all time, along with some special guests towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But in terms of favorite console of all time, where do you even begin? Do you choose the first console you played? And in my case, it's the NES. Games like Super Mario Bros. 3, Mega Man 5, Castlevania 3, Double Dragon 2, just to name a few. Or do I choose the most recent systems with the Nintendo Switch where I have the biggest library out of anything of my collection? Games like Super Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, just to name a few. But when it comes down to it, a console that has shaped my interest and likes in gaming, there's only one choice and it still holds true to this day. I don't think anything will ever really, for me personally, surpass this console, and it's the, the Super Nintendo. It's, it's a console that really got me into the genres that I love today. We go to the RPGs. I had Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, the Triforce of RPGs, in my opinion, for that system. And those games really set the bar high. My expectations going forward with future RPGs going on to like the, the PS1, the PS2. Oh, and of course, Super Mario RPG, which was a mind blown game at the time. Uh, a true partnership between Nintendo and Square. So that was fantastic to see. And of course you have the 2D platformers such as Super Mario World, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Land 3, then games like Mega Man X, X2, X3. Those games are incredible, especially X1. Then Super Castlevania 4, one of the greatest Castlevania games of all time. Then there's racing games. I love Super Mario Kart. While it's not the best in the franchise anymore, in my opinion, I still love that game. And then Top Gear. You gotta love Top Gear. Top Gear is quite a fantastic racing game. There's just so much variety on the Super Nintendo. If you had games like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter 2, Killer Instinct, it's truly a system that was ahead of its time. And then you had games that really showed off interesting ways the graphics were handled, such as Yoshi's Island with its color book aesthetic. And then the pre-rendered backgrounds of the Donkey Kong Country trilogy, which was something I've never seen before in gaming. And I still think those games look and sound incredible to this day. And then even games like Star Fox really experimented with 3D in an interesting way. Even if the game doesn't hold up too well today, it's still a fun time. So, Super Nintendo, without a doubt, my favorite system of all time. So let's get into some other content creators and see what they think their favorite system of all time is. The PlayStation 2 is hands down my favorite video game console of all time. While I could make an argument that the Super Nintendo and the PlayStation are just as amazing, it really comes down to the factor of the PlayStation 2 being backwards compatible with PlayStation games, an already amazing library that you could play on the PlayStation 2. Granted, you had the discs to play it. It was also an absolute powerhouse when it came to graphics, and it really was that last time that I feel we had a significant generational leap when it came to what video games were able to offer. We went from games like Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII to being able to play a game like Final Fantasy X that just brought its 3D world to life in ways that those games never could have. The PlayStation 2 is also memorable for having some of the most fun games out there. Whether or not you were into 3D platformers or action games or RPGs, it had you covered. You had games such as Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper that were fulfilling that 3D platforming itch that so many of us in the 90s grew up with. You had other smaller games such as Skeller, 
that were able to capture the same thing, albeit with a much, much smaller budget. The PlayStation 2 also had some killer hidden gems that people are still talking about and discovering to this day. If you were a fan of action games, the PlayStation 2 also had you covered. From God of War to Devil May Cry to something more niche like Red Ninja, there were a lot of games out there that were fulfilling the itch so many people had. You even had such classics as the Animusha series from Capcom that, while were not as popular as Resident Evil or Devil May Cry, still had a sizable fan base who enjoyed those games. And Sony's first party lineup on that game was absolutely amazing to see, with games such as Ico and Shadow of the Colossus being some of the most memorable games from that console generation. Konami was also absolute fire at this point, bringing out Metal Gear Solid and revitalizing storytelling with the way those games were able to go on and expand a comprehensive narrative. And also, we can't talk about it without talking about Capcom and the many titles they had as well. But where the PlayStation 2 really rang true for me was Japanese RPGs. From Final Fantasy X to Kingdom Hearts to titles such as Tales of the Abyss, there were so many games out there people could enjoy. And whether or not you were into more popular RPG titles or more niche titles, it had you, well, it had a game for you. Shadow Hearts, Wild Arms, Xenosaga, and the Ertanelico games are just some of the games on the PlayStation 2 that I thoroughly enjoyed. And this is why the PlayStation 2 is my favorite video game console of all time. I just don't think there's been a library that has been so expansive and fun ever since. What's up gamers, my name is NGG. I'd like to thank Serge Max for having me on his channel to explain to you what my favorite and greatest all time console uh, of all time is. And if you would have asked me a couple of years ago, I might have told you it was the 3DS. But since we are on the Switch, the Switch has become my console of choice for everything, for my multiplayer games, for my single player games to take with me. I take that one with me um, wherever I go. I leave this one as more of a, a, a console that sits at home on the dock where I take that Switch everywhere and I do... I read my books, I play my games while I'm on the go. Um, I love the flexibility of taking my home console to my sister's house and playing with her and then coming back and putting it on my dock and then playing some more when I get home. Uh, the flexibility that the Switch gives us with the games, the games, the library of games. I don't want anybody saying there are no games on the Switch. I have over 500 games in my library and some that were on other platforms that I would have never ever seen before had I not gotten a Nintendo Switch. Like we have Persona, we have these big, big Zelda games. We have so many games in our library that I could only pick the Switch as my favorite and greatest console of all, all time. Um, like I said before, it, it would have been something else if you would have asked me before the Switch um, what was my favorite one, but it's my favorite one to collect for. It's my favorite one to play. I game with so many people. Having two Joy-Cons, just hand this one to a friend and then um, have the other one and play sideways. The, the 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 technology that's built into this thing and uh, I, I know I've never owned this many consoles of the same system I think I have like six Nintendo switches at this point I need to get rid of some um unfortunately I have too many but um like I've never wanted to collect for a system as much as I wanted to collect for the Nintendo uh switch um I guess that's all there is to say I don't know um i just love nintendo switch i just i just there's no it's like my my swan song and because we're going into a digital age i think for me this might be my last home console if we go all digital this will probably be where i stay so it's probably why i'm collecting so much for the switch versus any other 
console. But thanks for having me on your channel, Surge. And I hope you guys love Nintendo Switch as much as I do. Happy gaming, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Rad Bash. And special shout out to my boy, Surge Man X, for having me on this epic collab. And uh, I guess we're supposed to talk about our favorite video game consoles. And uh, I had to go with the, uh, the no argument can be made, the best video game console of all time. And that's the Sony PlayStation 2. So, the PlayStation 2. I think we all remember where we were when that not only was announced, but when we all got it. I remember the Christmas I got it, and I was gifted games like Dark Cloud, which is a phenomenal game. If you haven't played Dark Cloud, I'm you need to go play it. I'm, you know, anybody who knows me knows at this point I'm going to preach about that game until the day I die. Uh, but we also got games like Kingdom Hearts, which took Final Fantasy and Disney and basically had a love child and is one of the best franchises I have ever played. But not just those two, we were given franchises such as God of War, which is such an iconic, not only Kratos is a gaming icon, a gaming legend at this point, but we also got some franchises that unfortunately didn't make it all the way, you know, to like the PS4 and the such, and that's Sly Cooper, which as a kid made me want to go rob people and steal from everybody. Man, you know, maybe that's why I didn't make it too far. But you also got games like Jack and Daxter, which, you know, the first one was a nice little platformer and then I don't know, I guess one day that they turn in, it's like childhood. You went from a nice little child to an angry teenager and they took and made Jack 2 and Jack 3 and it's basically like Space Grand Theft Auto. And that's another franchise we got on this. You know, we had, before we had the top down Grand Theft Autos, but we got what everybody knows, the GTA formula. We got three, we got San Andreas, we got Vice City. We got these big franchise, like th this, this big franchise has gone. And I mean, Grand Theft Auto is iconic at this point. Everybody's played the Grand Theft Auto games. Everybody knows them. You have six coming out soon. So really, if it weren't for the PS2, I doubt we would have all these franchises that we know. And I mean, pretty much all of us grew up with it. We've all experienced love and enjoyed the fun times. You know, I, you had the multi-tap so you could, you know, play wrestling with your friends and, you know, so calm. Dude, there's just so many good franchises that were on the PlayStation 2. And I mean, it, there can be no argument. I, and I, you know, I, I, I would love to hear everybody else's picks in this video and kind of see why everybody picked what they picked. But man, the PlayStation 2 was such a phenomenal system. And did I mention Dark Cloud? Go play Dark Cloud. How do you feel about the PlayStation 2? Down below in the comments, let us know what you think. Again, Serge, thank you so much for having me on. This was awesome to do. I love talking about the PlayStation 2, so, you know, thanks for having me on. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching this collab. If you haven't already, give my boy a sub. And remember, like always, stay radical. Greetings, everyone, and welcome. It's Shali, and today, Serge Man X invited me over to the channel to talk about my favorite console. And this console's got some fantastic games, like Illusion of Gaia, Kirby Superstar, 8 games in one, and one of my personal favorites, Mega Man X. And in case it's not painfully obvious, my favorite console is the Super Nintendo. Okay, so I can go on all day talking about why the Super Nintendo is my favorite console. But if I had to sum it up, nostalgia. Nostalgia for the times, nostalgia for the game, the games, and I have so many memories of playing the Super Nintendo with my mom when I was a little girl. We used to play so many games together. We played Mickey Mania, we played uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, this was one of her favorites. And we even played games like Cool Spot, Aladdin, Tom and Jerry, and just have some wonderful memories with the console. I don't remember receiving it as a gift, I just know that I've always had it. And it's just the console I've always enjoyed playing over the years. And even now, as I'm older, I'm in my 30s, when I hook up my Super Nintendo and I play it, I get to experience those memories again in that era of gaming, and it's just something that will always be special to me. Speaking of gaming-related memories, my mom has one that she decided to share with me for this video. 
she actually found a picture that she took of me when I was very little. How old was I? When I was five, she took a photo of me, zonked out on the floor in my Minnie Mouse sleeping bag with the Super Nintendo controller on my stomach. Because I used to just play the game so much and so much and I just passed out. So, to sum it up, Super Nintendo is one of the best consoles ever made. And for those of you who have not had a chance to experience this fantastic system, I have some great recommendations for you to try out. We've got Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy Kong's Quest is a great entry game to play. And also, the fan favorite Zelda, A Link to the Past, is a great game to play for the console if you've never played any of its games before. Hey guys, it's Shelly from the future. I thought I would just go over and include a few more recommendations for the Super Nintendo across the couple different genres. Okay, continue. So, thanks so much Serge Manx for having me on to talk about my favorite console. I thank you for the opportunity, and for those of you watching, let us know what your favorite console is in the comments. Take care, everybody. Hello, denizens of the Azure Lake Zone. Serge Manx asked me, Scorpio Caesar from the Seas Arcade, what my favorite console of all time is. You know, he asked me a really good question because what is my favorite console of all time? Is it the Nintendo Entertainment System? The first experience I ever had with a video game that opened the floodgates for me into this amazing hobby? Or is it the successor, the Super Nintendo? The console that perfected 16-bit pixel graphics and 2D gameplay? Or was it the Sega Dreamcast? The home of legendary titles such as Shenmue, Crazy Taxi, and the Sonic Adventure series? Or is it the PlayStation 2? An absolute juggernaut of its generation, known for its plentiful exclusives and survival horror games. And you know what they say, you wouldn't have a PlayStation 2 without the PS1, which introduced me to so many amazing titles such as Ridge Racer, Spyro the Dragon, and Croc! Don't forget about Croc! Or was it the Nintendo 64? A true leap in graphics, as it introduced me and so many gamers to a new dimension in gaming, coupled with its amazing controller and the introduction of a joystick? Or was it the original Xbox, an absolute powerhouse of a console that had the best looking and running multi-platforms of its time, along with introducing me to the joys and horrors of online multiplayer with Xbox Live? Or is it the GameCube? Nintendo's finest in terms of design and creativity with amazing games such as Super Mario Sunshine or Metroid Prime, while also introducing classics such as Animal Crossing. Or was it the PlayStation 3, the um... Oh, would you look at that, it looks like I'm all out of time. Well, I want to thank Serge Manex for allowing me to be part of this collaboration and I really do appreciate him having me on in today's video. So anyways, everybody, I hope you all well, and I'll see you all at the C's Arcade, hopefully. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment below your thoughts on today's topic. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when the next Surgeman X video drops. Have a good one.